everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, welcome! And please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Today I'm going to be working on three paintings that anybody can do. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go see what happens. Okay, so the very first technique um, that anybody really can do is so easy and it makes you feel like, you know, very artistic. I'm using just regular house paint as kind of a little bit of a base on this to have a little bit something. So just kind of pour it on there, whichever way you want. And okay, that looks good. Clean that off. And uh, just a little bit here and there. Just make it go anywhere. This is just for fun. This art should be fun. Playing with colors. Doing what you like with it. Exploring different uh, kinds of art. So you need, this is a ten, uh, 12 by 12 canvas. And uh, you need two the same size. So that's important. You need to have two. There's this, this one, which is exactly the same as that one. Then these are just dollar store paints. Pick ones that you like. Okay. I have four here. And we're going to squish them on top of the white that we've already put down. Let's see, something like that. And then the light blue. We'll do the same thing there. Very nice. This is great for kids too. You wanna do something at home get a little creative. This is a lot of fun and a little bit of supervision, but boy, it's great. It gets their creativity going. You never know, it might spark something. You always have to introduce. You never know where that spark comes. It could be playing piano or anything else. And then the last one is this yellow here. Looks pretty good already. <laughs> I like it. That will make it pop. Okay, and I think there's plenty of color there. Okay. So now you take the other one and you put it on top and squish. <laughs> Very technical term. Squish, press down. Got the back of it dirty. I'm using these gloves over and over because I am down to maybe two good ones and that's it. I haven't been able to find any anywhere else. All right, I think that's good. It's pressed down. Now, the big reveal. I'll go from this side. Let's see what happens. Wow, look at that. That looks great. <laughs> Very nice. So that's pretty cool. Let's see the other one. I like that. You get two for the price of one and that was super easy. Anybody can do that. Yeah, that's very cool. So that's it. Okay, so the second one that anybody can do, and it's a lot of fun. I've already done this once before, a few times before actually. So again, dollar store, just plain black paint, and you're gonna spread it all over the canvas. Just go like that. 
This is going to be pretty dramatic. Again, a lot of fun. It can be messy, so just take precautions, especially if you're working with kids. You know, you want to have fun, but you don't want a big mess either. But this is the first step. You just get your 12 by 12. This is a 12 by 12. You could do smaller, bigger, just you're starting out. You, you, you know, you want to do something that's manageable. So you spread out the black paint all across your canvas. Almost done there. There we go. Okay, now I've seen people do it different ways, but I think the easiest way is to put the paint that you want right on the canvas itself. So you put your string, it's a string pull. We're gonna do something like that. These are a lot of fun. Just pulling the string is a lot of fun. Here we go, that looks good. I'm gonna do three different um, strings here. Hopefully this won't make too much of a mess here. Here we go. And I want them all to finish over here. And then I have one more. I'm gonna make it lower. And you know, I think you also can use um, those little ball chain things. That would make it easier. But you know, this is just butcher strings or you know, stuff that's lying around. The, oh, that needs a shake. So this is again dollar store. I'll let it go all over it. A little bit down here. I'm going to do three different colors, I think. Oh, come on, stay down. Again, you need to wear some gloves for this stuff here. Next up, I'm going to put some red. This is a burgundy wine. That was a pink. And it's fun, you know, you stay with your kids, create something they can be proud of. Takes a little bit of time, but enjoy the process. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow as well. So we're going to can't wait to see how it looks. It's just a lot of fun. It's going to look good. Okay, you got the colors, and now we start pulling. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that. The black background really and anybody can do this look at that you got a painting in no time at all <laughs> okay I'm gonna take you down so you can see what I've done okay there you go project number two look at that it looks like some kind of a trumpet flower or something you're just very very pretty and of course you can use whatever colors you like 
that is super easy to do and lots of fun. Okay, and the last technique is kind of a contemporary look. Again, very easy. All I did was put the paint inside these condiment uh, containers and I just put it a tiny bit of water just so that it's really, really flowy, right? That's all you want, just to break up that paint that comes directly out of the uh, tube. And then you take it and it does become messy. And you start pouring from the top. And look at the lines. Carefully down get different combinations of paint going together. Oh, this one I didn't put as much water so it's a lot thicker. I think I'm going to add a little bit more otherwise it's not gonna look the same. There you go you can just experiment as you go along. But that paint will still come down and uh, we can always help it along too. But you want those long linear lines. And just keep going with the colors. You can put whatever colors that you like. Just make sure you're doing it from the top and keep going with whatever you like. Some will mix in together. Look at that. Ooh, that one went over. Going too fast. Look at that. Looks great. That's all it is. Anybody could do this and it's just so much fun. Look at it. Creates a great pattern. That's really cool. You got to be more patient than I am. <laughs> but I kind of like those little drips. I'm going to put a little bit more here. They don't want to go down in these empty spaces. Let's see. There. Oh, that's too much. Too thick, but whoa. You know, you can do whatever you like. It's your painting. Just have fun. I love it. It's looking great. Okay, the, the worst part of this, or the hardest part, I guess I should say, not worst, is knowing when to stop. That's so cool. I guess you can stop when your paint runs out or whenever you think that it looks right. Yeah, that looks wonderful. There you have it. Look at that. It looks fantastic. All the same colors pretty much that I used today and so much fun. Anybody can do this. So I'd love to hear what you think and if you're going to try it and which technique if you're going to try it. Are you going to do one or all three? Let me know. Love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.